Welcome to the regularly scheduled City Council meeting for November 14th, 2016. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilor Rodriguez. Uh, Mr. President, thank you very much. If I could just ask everybody to please stand again yes. and help me uh, in a moment of silence to remember a great Brocktonian who passed away this week. Uh, Jorge Lobaton was uh, a great leader of the Hispanic community, but he was a Brocktonian first, who actually always looked after children in the city of Brockton. And for this, I'd like to ask my colleagues and the public here to uh, honor him with a moment of silence. Descanse en paz, mi amigo. Thank you, Thank you Councillor. Item number one. We have the acceptance of the minutes of the Council meeting of October 24, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. The appointment of Mary Milligan as a parking clerk for the City of Brockton. <coughs> I refer to finance. Reappointment of Daniel Campbell as a constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years. Refer to finance. Reappointment of Mary Lynn Peters Chu to the position of City Auditor for the City of Brockton for a three year term ending December 2019. Councilor Ranieri. Thank you, Mr. President. At this time, I'd like to move that we suspend the rules and act on this this uh, evening. She is already uh, doing the position and doing a fine job as well, so there's no reason for her to come before us uh, at Second. finance. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to suspend the rules and act on item number four this evening. All those in favor? All those opposed? Uh, question is on uh, approving the appointment. Uh, Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Ace Ash. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Valley. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And any affirmative. The reappointment is confirmed. Item number five. We have the petition of Gary Thompson, DBA, Automotive Repairs for a Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License, located at 287 North Montello Street, Unit 3, Brockton and City Clerk's Office, October 14, 2016. Hearing is signed for November 14, 2016, at 8 p.m. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please step forward to the rostrum, give the, uh, read your name to the clerk. Uh, Mr. Thomas here. Mr. Thomas? Okay. Uh, entertain a motion to postpone until the end of the meeting? Motion Second. postponed until the end of the meeting. Second. Second. Motion made to second to postpone the hearing until the end of the meeting. All those in favor? All those opposed? Put item number five at the end of the meeting, see if Mr. Thom Thomas shows up. Item number six. Petition of Wade John DBA M Style Motorsports for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License located at 287 North Montello Street, Unit 5 and 6, Brockton. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and give the, the, your name to the clerk. Uh, is Mr. John here? If you want to step forward. That's another, that's seven. If you could just give us your name for the uh, record. Wayne, last name is John Joe Itchen. Thank you. Questions, counselors? Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? If so, please step forward, give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Uh, is there anyone here in opposition? If there is, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Uh, Councilors, did you want to make a motion to send this to public safety? Yes, Mr. President, move to refer to public safety. Second. Uh, second, motion made and seconded to refer to public safety. All those in favor? All those opposed? This will be referred to public safety. You'll get a, a notification of the public safety meeting in case anyone has any questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Item number seven. Okay. Petitioner Mag Retail Holdings, LLC, Matthew McGovern for Motor Vehicle Repair, Mechanical License, located at 300 Mainly Street, Brockton, and Clerk's Office, September 30, 2016, hearing assigned for November 14, 2016, at 8 p.m. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and state your name for the clerk. Yes, 
Yes, good evening. Uh, Matthew McGovern. Good evening. Uh, questions, Councillors? Uh, Councillor Ianeri? If I might, uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much, and uh, good evening. Welcome. And, and I know that you're here um, in, in regards to the fact that the uh, Bernardi buildings have changed name to uh, McGovern, am I correct? Uh, correct. And that's why you're here. So I would uh, look at items number seven and also eight when we get, do get to it, uh, um, Mr. Chairman. Uh, one is the Hyundai building, one is the Honda building. But um, I would think that there has really been no changes there and ours are the same and, and the operation is, is maintaining itself is the same way as Bernardi was, correct? That's correct, exactly okay. the same. Yeah. So I, I, would, I don't, do not have any problem uh, with it, um, seeing the buildings are only five years old. As I say, nothing's changed. So um, I support what you're doing here and, uh, and I would also say the same when we do get to item eight. So I would ask my fellow colleagues please not to send this back to public safety because I don't think it, it needs to be uh, as they need to continue on with with their business. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Councillor. Anyone else? Mr. Chairman, could Councilor we just Farwell. could we make sure that the minutes of the meeting reflect the fact that this is really a name change only? It's not a, a new business. It's correct. It's new ownership of uh, changing the name of the business. Uh, any other questions? Is there anyone else here in favor? If so, st please step forward. Give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Uh, question is now on granting the license. All those in favor? All those opposed? The license is granted. Uh, number seven. Uh, Mr. Clerk, yeah. number? Petition of Mag Retail Holder, HYN LLC, Matthew McGovern, for motor vehicle repair mechanical license, located at 300 Manley Street. Rockton and Clerk's Office, September 30th, 2016. Hearing is signed for November 14, 2016. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in uh, favor, please state your name for the clerk. Again, if you could. Uh, Councilor, same statements, I assume? Same statement, this just, is uh, the, just diddle. That's it, exactly. Just um, for the public's, uh, this is the motor vehicle repair license at the other building? That is the other building, which is the uh, Hyundai, uh, excuse me, yeah, the Hyundai building, exactly. So same way, nothing's changed and Correct. everything's the same. Correct, yes. yep. Yeah, so I would approve it. Yes, please. Councilor Sullivan. President, just a quick question. Good evening, Mr. McGovern. How are you? Good evening. Thanks for being here tonight. Thank quick you. question. Um, in terms of what the Ward 3 Council said, it's just a, a name change acquisition of Bernardi. Um, do you operate any other within the Commonwealth or within the City of Brockton? I, I do. I operate a uh, Chrysler Jeep Dodge store in Newton, Mass. as well. In Newton? Yep. Great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? If so, please step forward, give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and state your name for the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Question is on granting the license. All those in favor? All those opposed? The license is granted. Okay. Petition of Thank Tad. you and good luck. On Tad and Derek Tad for a garage license located at 772 North Main Street, Brockton, and City Clerk's Office, October 6, 2016. Hearing is signed for November 14, 2016 at 8 p.m. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please step forward and get, state your name for the clerk. Fong Tat. Good evening, Mr. Tat. Good evening. Number nine. Uh, any questions, councilors? Councilor uh, Stanisky. Chairman, thank you. Mr. Tat, 772 North Main. I know 774, that's a garage. Are you sharing the same location? Uh, the location we're sharing? Yeah, are you sharing, are you within the same building? Uh, no, it's different buildings. The 77.4 and 77.2, it's a totally different building. It's the next door, the garage, is different uh, buildings. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank, Thank you, Councillor. Are there any other questions? Is there anyone else here in favor? If, if so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and state your name for the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. No, I have no idea. Public safety. Uh, Councilor Fowell, did you want to make a motion on this? Yes, move to uh, refer to public safety. Second. second. Motion made and seconded to refer to public safety. All those in favor? All those opposed? Is referred to public safety. Thank you. Uh, you can stay right there, but because I, I think you have the next one, but this will 
you'll receive notification about the public safety meeting. Petition of Fong Tad and Derek Tad, Champion Auto Glass for a Motor Vehicle Repair License, located at 772 North Main Street, Brockton, and Clerk's Office, October 6, 2016. Hearing assigned for November 14, 2016 at 8 p.m. Time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Please state your name for the clerk. You can state your name again for the clerk, please. Fong Tat. Thank you. Uh, Councilors, any questions? Uh, is there anyone else here in favor? If so, please step forward and give your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please step forward and state your name for the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that portion of the hearing closed. Councilor Farwell. Move to refer to public safety. Second. Motion made and seconded to refer to public safety. All those in favor? All those opposed? Mr. Speaker, President. Councilor Sullivan. As chair of the public safety, I just want to let those people know it's not going to happen until after Thanksgiving. It will be in early December. Thank you. Thank you. So you'll receive notification right, of the, when that, that meeting will be here in this room. Right, thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Uh, item number 11. It's okay. Sorry. All set. Thank you. Thank you. Report of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of November 2nd, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of November 7, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Indication from the Mayor confirming the appointment of Mary Milligan as parking clerk for the City of Brockton. Accepted and placed on file. Indication from the Mayor in accordance with the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, Chapter 2, Section 2 186, appointed Megan Bridges to the position of Assistant City Solicitor part time for three year term, effective November 21st, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the city solicitor requested an additional appropriation of $25,000 from unappropriate estimate seats of the general fund for fiscal 2017 to law department ordinary maintenance services in order to fund the estimated costs of consultants to the workers' compensation agent. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police department requesting an appropriation of $350,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of the general fund for fiscal 2017 to police personal services other than overtime as a supplemental appropriation to the police department overtime account. Accepted and placed on file. <clears throat> Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the superintendent of schools requesting a supplemental appropriation of $367,000 the school department's 2017 non-net school spending budget to meet the current needs of the system. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chairman of the board of assessors requesting an appropriation of $50,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts, fiscal 2017, of the general fund to assess the department ordinary maintenance services in order to fund the cost of commercial appraisal services for 540 Westgate Drive and 235 North uh, Pearl Street, Stewart Good Samaritan Hospital. These studies are recommended by the DOR. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the executive health officer requesting acceptance and expenditures of the grant award, any amount of $7,781.52 from the Mass Department of Public Health, Region Number 5, Mass Association of Health Boards, grant to the City of Brockton, Board of Health, Mass Association of Health Boards, grant fund to build a level of volunteers and other activities for Area Medical Reserve Corps. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief financial officer request additional funding of $20,000 that was not budgeted in the fiscal 2017 budget to hire a financial analyst and to fill the position of budget director and also authorization to hire the budget director at step two. 
Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the city auditor requesting an appropriation of fund deficits to raise prior to setting the tax rate and the total amount of $73,037.87 as follows. Fiscal 2016 court judgments, $62,904.30. Roof Repair Fund, $4309, Fiscal 2015-911 Grant Fund, $3306, Fiscal 2013-911 Grant Fund, $3278, $6,190.68. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Department of Public Works requesting $2 million to fund inspection of seven miles of the parallel 24-inch transmission mains from Silver Lake Water Treatment Plant to Browns Crossing Pump Station, as well as to rehabilitate the seven existing crossover locations along the same stretch. Both the inspection and construction costs are eligible for low interest programs through the Mass Department of Environmental Protection State Revolving Fund program. These transmissions main projects would ensure a more efficient, more stable, and safer water system for the city's residents and surrounding communities. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed appropriation and loan order of $2 million for purposes of performing inspections and rehabilitation of the twin transmission mains from Silver Lake Water Treatment Plant, provided that the City Council adopt and the Mayor approve water rate increases in addition to those already scheduled by ordinary by ordinance within the next six months. This is a conditional certification which must be placed on the front of the order if it is approved. Additionally, rate increases needed are two. One of 10% on July 1st, 2017, which is essential, and one of 5% on July 1, 2019, which is recommended. These are in addition to the three increases already scheduled for 10% on January 1, 2017, 10% on January 1, 2018, and 2.5% on January 1, 2019. The present water rates are inadequate to provide revenue sufficient to pay for the water system's operating and fixed costs at current service levels, while also providing for capital project financing and reimbursing the general fund for expenses it has borne on behalf of the water fund. These unpaid costs amount to nearly $2 million. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommended the City Council authorize the appropriations of 102,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts of the General Fund for Fiscal 2017 to Stabilization Fund in order to make final appropriations prior to the setting of Fiscal 2017 tax rate. This action in combination with other budget actions adopted are recommended for adoption would leave city with almost 3.2 million in tax levy capacity allowed under proposition two and one half to remain unappropriated. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor. <clears throat> in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44, in addition to his request dated November 8 for the appropriation of 102000 to the Stabilization Fund, he recommends that the City Council authorize the further additional appropriation of $635,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of the General Fund for Fiscal 2017 to Stabilization Fund. In order to more fully appropriate the annual allowable 2.5% growth in the tax levy for this fiscal year as permitted under Proposition 2 and 1 half, this action will still leave more than 2.5 million under the levy limit and appropriate it. Accepted and placed on file. An appropriate uh, uh, communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the building department requesting an appropriation of $50,000 for rehabilitation of the elevator at City Hall. Accepted and placed on file. Mayor, 
Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the uh, director of planning and economic development submitting the proposed HDIP tax increment exemption agreement for the market rate housing development proposed for 47 Pleasant Street. The local exemption is one of two incentives for the development of market rate housing in gateway cities. The second incentive is state tax credits awarded by DHCD. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44, recommending the city council authorizes the approves, approval of the proposed housing development incentive program tax increment exemption agreement for 47 Pleasant Street between the city and 47 Pleasant Street Realty Trust. This proposed agreement is recommended by the City Director of Planning and Economic Development, Rob May, would enable the development of 24 market rate residential units. The exemption proposed is for 30% of the first five years, 25% for the next two, and 20% for the final year in property taxes applied through the increment above face value. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the fire department requesting the reestablishment of revolving account for reimbursement of overtime. This overtime is reimbursed by the Department of Fire Services, which generates a check that goes directly to the general fund. The estimated total reimbursable overtime is a given fiscal year would be $70,000, and a revolving account funded at that level should be sufficient. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the director of planning and economic development submitting the proposed HDIP tax increment exemption agreement for the market rate housing development proposed for 93 Center Street. The local exemption is one of two incentives for the development of market rate housing in gateway cities. The second incentive is state tax credit awarded by DHCD. Accepted and placed on file. Communication for the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws Chapter 44 recommending the City Council authorize the approval of the prop yep. proposed housing development center program tax increment exemption agreement for 93 Center Street. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Council Monahan. Uh, yes, Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to take numbers 55 through 67 collectively. Thank you. Mr. Mr. President, uh, on that motion, um, agenda items 55 through 58, 967 Montello Street, what came out of the uh, public safety meeting is we had respectfully requested an opinion from the fire department chief and or the building commissioner to make sure that there was adequate parking at 967 Montello Street. So I'd ask that we not take 50, what, what did my colleague say, 55 through what? 67. I'd ask that we take 55 through 58, which is relative to that real property. 55 through 58. So 55 through 58, motion made, do I have a second? Second. Motion made and seconded to take items 55 through 58 collectively. Uh, all those in favor? All those opposed? So, so moved. Mr. Clerk, uh, please read 55 through 58. Okay, <clears throat> petition Solid Auto Care Corp for motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 967 Montello Street, Unit AB, Brockton. Uh, Bernard Joseph, JMB Auto Repair and Frameworks for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License, located at 967 Montello Street, Unit C and D, Brockton. Petitioner Ronald Homer, DBA Bernardo and Ron Auto Repair for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License, located at 967 Montello Street, Unit E. Petition of DBA Roland Automotive for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License located at 967 Montello Street, Unit F, Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, June 16, 2016. Hearing is signed for September 26, 2016 at 8 p.m. In Council, September 26, Council of Fowl, motion to refer to public safety, properly seconded. The motion carried by a hand vote. Recommendation is favorable with stipulations. Council President, I just spoke to Attorney Gilday, our Legislative Council, and he confirmed that for those agenda items 55 to 58, at the request of the public safety, we have not received that letter yet from the city uh, fire chief and or the building commissioner. So I'm going to make a motion to postpone this to the next full city council meeting. Second. 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 Motion made and seconded to postpone on items 55 through 58 to the next city council meeting. All those in favor? All those opposed? These are postponed. 
Councillor Monaghan. <clears throat> so we can take, uh, make a motion to take number 59 through 67, Clyde. Second. Motion made and seconded to take items 59 through 50, uh, 67 President. collectively. Oh. <laughs> as, uh, as chair of the public safety, I just want to make my colleagues that don't sit on the committee aware uh, that the uh, committee members, five of us, had asked each and every petitioner that came before us to submit, even if it was just a handwritten parking plan relative to their property in question where they were seeking a license. Attorney Gil Day has confirmed that some have submitted, some haven't. So I don't think it would be in the best interest of this body to take it collectively. Council, you want to withdraw your motion? Yes, I withdraw the motion. In that second. case, <laughs> we never voted on this. We don't need to. Item number 59. Draw my second. There we go. Okay, the petition of AJ <laughs> Auto Repair Diag and Diagnostic for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License located at 955 Montello Street, Unit 1 Brockton, in City Clerk's Office, June 6, 2016. Hearing is signed for September 26, 2016 at 8 p.m. And City Council, September 26, 2016. Council file motion to refer to public safety. Properly seconded. Motion carried by a hand vote. November 2nd, the recommendation is favorable with stipulations. Question is on granting uh, as stipulated. All those in favor? All those opposed? Number 59 is granted. Number 60. Unite, uh, unique collision for motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 189 Clinton Street, Brockton. City Clerk's Office, August 2nd, 2016. Hearing is signed September 26th, 2016 at 8 p.m. In Council, September 26th. Council Stenitsky, most to postpone hearing until next City Council meeting, properly seconded. Motion carried by a hand vote. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Recommended to public safety. Uh, Recommendation is favorable with stipulations. Question is on granting as stipulated. All those in favor? All those opposed? License is granted. Unique collision for a motor vehicle repair body license located 189 Clinton Street, Brockton, in clerk's office, August 2nd, 2016. Hearing is signed for September 26, 2016 at 8 p.m. in council September 26. Council Stadinsky motion to postpone hearing until next council meeting. Motion was properly seconded and carried. <clears throat> and October 11th, referred to public safety. Recommendation for public safety is favorable with stipulations. However, we have an additional note that the fire department has ob objections. Right now, it does not conform to the proper equipment pending installation of the proper equipment to allow for painting, priming, and bonding and the approval of the equipment and installation. The fire department then would have no objections. Uh, question is on granting as stipulated. Uh, all those in favor? All those opposed? Uh, motion is granted as stipulated with the fire department's objections. Okay. Pyrie's Brothers Auto Repair Inc. for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 2, Brockton. Clerk's Office, June 21, 2016. Hearing is signed for September 26, 2016 at 8 p.m. In Council, September 26. Council of Fowl, motion to refer to public safety, properly seconded by a hand vote. In public safety, November 2nd. The recommendation is favorable with stipulations. Council Sullivan. Mr. President, I was just made aware by a legislative council that agenda item 62 has not submitted the required parking plan that came out of public safety committee. As such, I'm going to make a motion to postpone to the next full city council. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to postpone item 62. All those in favor? All those opposed? Item 62 is postponed till the next city council meeting. Patricia George Ayub, DBA, Abington Gas and Auto Sales Inc. for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical License located at 1100 North Montello Street, Brockton. In clerk's office, July 12, 2016. Hearing is signed for October 11, 2016, 8 p.m. In council, October 11. I refer to public safety. Re recommendation from public safety is favorable with stipulations. Question is on granting the license as stipulated. All those in favor? All those opposed? License is granted. Petition of <clears throat> Quick and Clean Auto Care for Motor Vehicle Mechan Mechanical Repair License located at 287 Montello Street, Unit 2, Brockton, and Clerk's Office, September 1, 2016. Hearing is signed for October 11, 2016 at 8 p.m. And Council, October 11, 2016, referred to the Committee on Public Safety. The recommendation of that committee is favorable with stipulations. Questions on granting as stipulated. All those in favor? 
All those opposed, the license is granted. Petition to border for a garage license located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 3, Brockton, and Clerk's Office, September 13, 2016. Hearing is signed for October 11, 2016, 8 p.m. In Council, October 11, 2016, refer the Committee on uh, Public Safety. That recommendation is uh, favorable with stipulations. Questions on granting as stipulated. All those in favor? All those opposed? License is granted. Item 66. A classic auto repair for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 3, Brockton, in Clerk's Office, June 8, 2016. Hearing is signed for October 11, 2016 at 8 p.m. in Council Chambers. In Council, October 11, 2016, refer to the Committee on Public Safety. That report is favorable with stipulation. Council Sullivan. President, again, 66 agenda item has not submitted the required pocket plan. I'm going to make a motion to postpone next full city. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to postpone to the next council meeting. All those in favor? <laughs> All those opposed? Postponed. Okay. Petition of A and Friend, Inc. for a motor vehicle uh, repair body license located at 640 to 644 Belmont Street in Clerk's Office, September 1, 2016. Hearing is signed for October 11, 2016 at 8 p.m. In council, October 11th, refer to public safety. Fire department has objections. Currently, there is no proper equipment to allow for painting, priming, and bonding. The fire department would have no objections once the equipment is installed and properly inspected. Questions on granting as uh, uh, stip uh, stipulated. All those in favor? All those opposed? License is granted. Mm -hmm. We have the redoable petition of GameStop number 2225, 715 Crescent Street for a license for secondhand articles and council May 23rd, 2016. Very refer to the committee on licenses. That report is favorable. Questions on granting the license. All those in favor? All those opposed? The license is granted. We have the GameStop number 682, 200 Westgate Drive, Brockton, for a secondhand articles license, and Council May 23rd, 2016. Ready to refer the Committee on Public Safety. That report is favorable. Questions on granting the license. Council Sullivan. I'm sorry, are we on 69 or 70, Mr. We're President? on 69. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, questions on granting the license. All those in favor? All those opposed? The license is granted. Okay, we have 70. Petition of uh, Rome Jewelers for a uh, renewal of their license. It's at 1216, postponed to the next Public Safety Committee, 11216. And Public Safety uh, recommended unfavorably based on failure of applicant to appear before the council. Council Sullivan. Mr. President um, and members of the, uh, the council that are, are not serving on the uh, Public Safety Subcommittee, um, I'm going to make a motion as chair to send this back to the Public Safety. We're going to give uh, a professional courtesy to a business that's been in the city for over 100 years. But please keep in mind there's been three public safety meetings, mm -hmm. uh, two in the summer and one just two weeks ago where Rom Jewelers have not appeared. I think we should give them one more bite of the apple. I know the city clerk will be sending it directly to Rom's up on Belmont Street. Uh, and that's before my motion. Send it back to public second. safety. Second. Motion made and seconded to send this back to public safety. All those in favor? All those opposed? Uh, to the public safety committee. Thank you. Petition of Sailor Insurance Agency, 84 West Elm Street, for a sign permit, which is an awning, and council August 22nd, 2016. <clears throat> the recommendation for public safety is favorable. Questions on granting. All those in favor? All those opposed, the awning uh, approval is granted. Audited ex acceptance and expenditures of a grant in the amount of $40,500 from the Mass Department of Environmental Protection, Recycling, Dividend, and Small Scale Incentive Grant to the City of Brockton Public Works Refuse Division Recycling, Dividend, and Small Scale Initiative Grant Fund. End Council, October 24, 2016. Ready to refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. 
accepted as expenditures of a grant in the amount of $88,500 for the Mass Department of Environmental Protection, <clears throat> Mass Electric Vehicle Incentive Program, Phase 3 Program, to the City of Brockton Department of Public Works, Mass Electric Vehicle Incentive Phase 3 Program Grant Fund. And Council, October 24, 2016, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption by roll call vote. Will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Farwell. Farwell. Uh, yes. Lally. <laughs> yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stavinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Well, to invite Mr. George Durante, the Transformer Development Initiative fellow from Mass Development, to discuss the first six months of his accomplishments in a three-year project. And Council, October 24, 2016. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Question is on adoption of the resolve. All those in favor? All those opposed? The resolve is adopted. Resolved that the Director of the Brockton Council and AG and Member Richard Bach be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss the possible expansion of the Council on Aging Facilities. In Council, October 24, 2016. Further Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption of the resolve. All those in favor? All those opposed? The resolve is adopted. Resolved that the mayor, his designee, the police chief, the fire chief, or their designees, the chairman of the license commission, or his designee, the executive director of the Board of Health, and the superintendent of the buildings, be invited to appear before a committee of this council to discuss ongoing code enforcement activities, available staffing, as well as specific objections, objectives for the next fiscal year. In Council May 23, 2016, for the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. Question is on adoption of the resolve. All those in favor? All those opposed? The resolve is adopted. An ordinance amended Chapter 19, Section 19-1, composition of the Brockton Police Department, Superior Officers, with respect to 19-1C, sergeants from 20 sergeants to 24 sergeants. Refer to ordinance. An ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances, Section 11 uh, dash 211 is hereby amended by adding the following subsection, section D, there shall be one license issued for each 2,000 population as recorded in the most recent federal census at the time of the application for a license. No additional licenses shall be issued until the number of existing licenses correspond to this provision. Uh, refer to ordinance. That the sum <clears throat> ordered that the sum of two million dollars is appropriated to pay costs of inspecting and rehabilitating seven miles of the parallel 24-inch transmission maze from Silver Lake Water Treatment Plant to the Browns Crossing pump stations, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to Chapter 44 and or Chapter 29C of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the city, therefore, that such bonds or notes shall be general obligations of the city unless the treasurer, with the approval of the mayor, determines that they should be issued as limited obligations and may be secured by local system revenues as defined in Section 1 of Chapter 29C that the treasurer, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow all or a portion of such amount for the Mass Clean Water Trust, the trust established pursuant to Chapter 29C, and in connection therewith to enter into a finance agreement and or security agreement with the trust and otherwise to contract with the trust and the Department of Environmental Protection with respect to such loan and for any federal or state aid available for the project or the financing thereof, and that the mayor is authorized to enter into a project regularity agreement with the Department of Environmental Protection to expend all funds available for the project and to take any other action necessary to carry out this project. Further audit, any premium received by the city upon the sale of any bonds or notes approved by this order, <clears throat> or less shall uh, any such premium applied to the payment of the cost of issuance of such bonds or notes may be applied to the payment of costs approved by this order in accordance with Chapter 44, Section 20 of the General Laws, thereby reducing the amount authorized to be borrowed to pay such costs by a like amount. Refer to finance. 
Mr. Mr. President. Councilor Farwell. On this particular agenda item, I'd like to ask that the City Council's representative to the Water Commission be invited to appear and provide some information. Apparently, this issue has been debated uh, somewhat extensively in the Water Commission, and I think the rest of the Council members would benefit from hearing from our representative. I'll make sure they're on the invite list. An appropriation of $25,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of the general fund for fiscal 2017 to law department ordinary maintenance services. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $350,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of the general fund for fiscal 2017 to police personal services other overtime. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $367,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of the general fund for fiscal 2017 to non-net school spending. I refer to finance. Appropriation of $50,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts, fiscal 2017, of the general fund to assess his department ordinary maintenance services. I refer to finance. Appropriation of $20,000 from unappropriated estimate receipts, the general fund 2017, to finance department personal services other than overtime. I refer to finance. Appropriation of a grant award in the amount of $7,781.52 for the Mass Department of Public Health, Region 5, Mass Association of Health Boards grant to the City of Brockton, Board of Health, Mass Association of Health Boards grant fund. Refer to finance. Appropriation of 102000 from the unappropriate estimate receipts of the general fund for 2017 to the stabilization fund. Refer to finance. An appropriation of $50,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of the general fund for fiscal 2017 to public property capital elevator repair. These funds will be used in order to provide funding in addition to the $115,000 appropriated in fiscal 2017 budget, as this added funding is necessary to perform the project as estimated. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $73,037.87 from unappropriate estimate receipts of the general fund for fiscal 2017 to fiscal 2016 court judgments, $62,904.30, roof repair fund, $4,309,632.46, fiscal 2015-911 grant fund, $3,306,3,381.43, fiscal 2013-911 grant fund, $3,278,6,119.68, in order to eliminate various funds or appropriation deficits. Refer to finance. An appropriation of $635,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of the general fund for fiscal 2017 to the stabilization fund. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $70,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of the general fund for fiscal 2017 to fire department personal services overtime and ought to provide added funding for overtime such as hazardous material, team response, <coughs> and training, 911 emergency dispatch training, and training for the Plymouth County technical response team. Refer to finance. I resolve that the City Council authorizes the approval of the proposed Housing Development Center Program Tax Increment Exemption Agreement for 93 Center Street between the City and Yuma Realty Trust. Refer to finance. I resolve that the City Council of City of Brockton respectfully request the honorable members of the City's legislative delegation to file and support legislation which would allow mm -hmm. communities with an enrollment of 10,000 students or more, as reported in the prior calendar year, to be allowed to file a preliminary enrollment uh, report on October 1 of each calendar year, and then final enrollment data on March 1 of the following year, so as to assure the proper level of state aid for the support of the school district. <clears throat> Refer to finance. Resolved that the City Council authorizes the approval of the proposed Housing Development and Senate Program tax increment exemption between <clears throat> TIE for 47 Pleasant Street between the City and 47 Pleasant Street Realty Trust. Refer to finance. <clears throat> Resolved to invite Sergeant Brenda Perez and a recently hired crime analyst to present their findings and progress on a study that began of April 2016 for the City of Brockton. This presentation should include locations of high crime rates, crime rates, communication with other law enforcement agencies, other programs that have come to fruition based on these findings, and collaborations of future plans with the use of this data. 
The hope of this presentation is to provide the City Council and the public with a better understanding of the process of preventing and lowering crime throughout the city and making a safer community for residents and business alike. Refer to finance. Resolve to invite the fire chief to appear before a committee of this council to review the expenditures from the fire department budget and to bring with him any and all documents related to such expenditures, including any supporting contract. Refer to finance. Resolve that the city auditor appear before a committee of this council to review required auditing procedures and that the city auditors authorize and directed to implement policies and procedures to account for proper recording of data processing of payments and expenditures of funds. Further, that all department boards and commissioners are to adhere to the policy and procedure. Refer to finance. Resolve that the mayor be invited to appear before a committee of this council to review the expenditures for payment tuition and other fees for the mayor at Massasoit Community College from the city budget and to bring with him any and all documents related to such expenditures, including any supporting authorization for such expenditure. Refer to finance. Uh, we'll go back to item number five. Petition of Gary Thompson, DBA, ETA Automotive Repairs for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 287 North Montello Street, Unit 3, Brockton. Uh, time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? Mr. Thomas, uh, have you made it in? Uh, Seeing uh, that Mr. Thomas isn't here, I'd entertain a motion to postpone to the next. Uh, President, I'll make a motion to postpone the next full city council meeting. Second. Motion made and seconded. Uh, postpone item number five to the next full council meeting. All those in favor? All those opposed? That uh, will be postponed till the next city council meeting. Uh, councilors, uh, I did mean to mention uh, Councilor Barnes had reached out to me. She is in Washington, D.C., and her. Uh, Working in her role as uh, Congressman Lynch's aide, and she was not going to make it back in time for the meeting tonight. Uh, we have a late file in the hands of the clerk. Uh, who, who's filing the late file? Uh, Council file. Mr. President, I uh, would like to offer a late file, ask the indulgence of my colleagues. I'll hand it back to the clerk for reading. Second. Motion made and seconded to accept the late file. All those in favor? All those opposed? We will take the late file. Mr. Clerk, please read the order. The appointment of Jamel Johnson as a special police officer of the city of Brockton for a one-year term ending November 2017. Refer to finance. Uh, Councillor uh, Azak. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege. You may. Um, I'd like to inform residents that the Brockton Police is offering a four-week free self-defense and safety class. The, session, the first session actually started today, um, and it will run until on Mondays until December 16th. But there is a second session that's, um, that will be on Wednesdays starting January 4th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., um, space is limited. I believe there's only about, they're accepting about 20 people per class. If anyone is interested, please contact Office of Fonts at 508-897-5281, or you can send her an email at efonts, F-O-N-T-E-S, at brocktonpolice.com. Thank you. Thank you. Council Sullivan. President, a moment of personal privilege. You may. I want to thank uh, Director of Veteran Services, Dave Farrell, uh, and all the veterans, Junior ROTC from Brockton High, Brockton High Band, all the young kids that came, uh, and the citizens of Brockton that were there last week, last Friday, for the Veterans uh, Parade. It's an annual event. It honors those that uh, allow us to do what we do as public servants. So, again, thank you, Mr. Farrell, and thanks to the veterans. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, before we leave, I just want to inform the councilors, two weeks from tonight, we, prior to our regular council meeting, I am going to be calling a special city council meeting for 7.30, a joint meeting with the school committee where we will vote on a replacement for the late uh, Wayne McAllister for the Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical School Board. Uh, and again, that will be 7.30, two weeks from tonight. Anybody else? We're adjourned.